Welcome to my tutorial video for the to-do list for Excel. To get started, I recommend reading the easy-to-follow instructions that will guide you through the workbook. At the top of this tab, you'll find a direct link to my website, where I share further resources, helpful guides, and links to my other spreadsheet tools. If you need assistance at any time, simply scroll to the bottom of the page and click the a Contact Us button. This will connect you directly with me, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can to help answer any questions. Before we get started, please note that some cells in this workbook are protected. This is to prevent creating errors and needing to re-enter data due to accidental changes. If you wish to edit a cell or make a modification to the spreadsheet, right-click on the tab and select Unprotect Sheet. When you are done with the modifications, I recommend protecting the sheet by right-clicking on the tab and selecting Protect Sheet. Go to the Setup tab. I have created this tab to update the drop-down lists throughout the spreadsheet while keeping their formatting. I have entered a few items to get you started. You can come back to this spreadsheet at any time to make modifications. Go to the To-Do List tab. List your tasks or items to do. This can be done in any order. I will show you how to sort this table later in the video. Use the drop-down to choose which category to assign. Determine priority by selecting one of four options, low, medium, high, urgent. Select the status, whether your task is not started, in progress, cancelled, complete, or overdue. Now, select the duration. This is a great tool to get a quick idea of how much time you will need on a specific day to accomplish all your tasks. Enter the due date, and lastly, select the person in charge of doing the task if you are planning for several people. Do not enter any information under the day's left column. These cells are protected and contain formulas that automatically calculate the number of days left until the task becomes overdue. Also, note that all drop-down lists can be customized by going back to the Setup tab and editing the entries there. If you would like to edit the colors in the drop-down lists, right-click on the tab at the bottom and select Unprotect Sheet. Click on a cell from the column where you wish to change the color. Now, go to the Home menu and find Conditional Formatting. Then, select Manage Rules. Here, you can see what color corresponds to a certain cell in the setup. The first entry in the setup is Personal. To change the color, double-click on the line. This opens up a menu where I can make modifications to the color. Once this is done, I select OK, Apply, then OK. I recommend right-clicking on the tab and selecting Protect Sheet to prevent any unwanted modifications from occurring in the future. As mentioned earlier, it is possible to sort your data inside the to-do list table. This is likely the most powerful tool when it comes to organizing the things you need to do. To use the filter, click on the arrow icon next to the name of the column that you wish to use as your sorting order reference. In this example, I will sort by due date. I want to sort by ascending order, so I will select sort A to Z, sort oldest to newest. Also, the sort funnel allows for quick data organization making it possible to display only specific data that meets certain criteria, allowing you to focus on what's relevant without permanently altering the dataset. For example, to remove the completed tasks from the table, click on the arrow next to status, unselect the complete check mark then click OK. Now all of my completed tasks are gone. I can also add a filter to display my tasks related to cleaning. Click on the arrow next to category, unselect all the check marks except for cleaning. These tools help keep your data clean, organized, and manageable, making it simpler to extract actionable insights. When a task is selected as complete, the days due will disappear and the status chart at the top will update accordingly. To update the progress wheel, click on the checkbox next to the completed tasks. In this chart, you can view your task distribution. It's a quick and efficient way to see how many tasks you have left for any given category. The colors in the priority chart are likely to differ from the colors in the table. If you wish to match them, sort the table by order of priority. Go to the Daily Planner. In the menu at the left, 
in rows 17, 18, and 19, select the year, month, and the time at which you wish the day to start. Then, select the start of the week between Sunday and Monday. To complete updating the daily planner, select the week you are planning for in row 6. Use the drop downs to fill your days. The information in the drop down lists corresponds to the tasks you have entered in the to do list tab. Due to the limitations of spreadsheets, the information that you enter in the planner is only for your current selection and will not change when you select a new week or period. It is possible to plan for several weeks at a time by creating copies of the tab. Right click on the tab and select Move or Copy. Then, tick the checkbox next to create a copy and choose where you want the new tab to go. I recommend renaming the tabs to avoid any confusion. When you want to plan for a different period, you need to delete the information entered in the planner. There is space at the bottom left to enter reminders. Check them off as you complete them. To make your schedule more visually appealing, I recommend adding color blocks. Simply select the block you want, go to the fill menu, and choose your preferred color. The manual monthly calendar works in a similar way as the daily planner. Select the month and year you wish to plan for. Then, using the provided drop-down lists, select the tasks for specific days. When they are completed, use the checkboxes to cross them off. The automatic monthly calendar is a fun feature that automatically organizes the tasks that you have entered in the to-do list tab. Select the month and year you wish to view and the calendar automatically updates. Check boxes to cross off tasks as you complete them. When you change months, the check boxes will need to be unchecked manually. If you wish to print the daily planner or a calendar, go to the file menu, then select print. In the menu located at the left, make sure that landscape is selected and that fit sheet on one page is selected. To wrap things up, a to-do list spreadsheet is a great tool to help you stay organized, manage your tasks efficiently, and keep track of your progress. Whether you're using it as a bucket list, a goal tracker, managing daily to-dos, long-term projects, or simply need a system to keep your priorities in check, this tool is designed to make your life easier. Thank you for joining me, I hope that you enjoy using my spreadsheet. Contact me if you have any questions regarding this video and the debt snowball and avalanche calculator.